as Marcus Peters played his last game as a Baltimore Raven. First question came from my guy T. He said, hey, Graven. All right, what's going on, big dog? Man, I've been a silent follower of yours ever since 2018. I'm talking before you even had an intro song, LOL. Oh, yeah, that was a, that was a little while back. Well, I, I appreciate that, man. He said, anyway, bro, I say that to say that I have never been more proud of someone I've never met in person. You're a hardworking and passionate man, and I can only hope that there's more blessings for you as the years unfold. I appreciate that a lot, man. I, I really do. Um, I needed that today because today is uh, it's May 4th. Um, when I'm recording this, when you see this, I, I don't know when it's going to be. Probably a couple days after that. But uh, I, 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 I needed that, I, and I appreciate this a lot, man. So thank you for that, man. Uh, but he said, this is my first question ever. And quite frankly, it's really because Team Keep It Clean has always been on point with it. Shout out. I appreciate that, man. He said, anyway, here's a thought. Unpopular opinion, but I think Marcus Peters may has played. Oh, see, I was thinking. See, I, I, I look at that. I, I, I got your question wrong. I thought it was something different. I thought you meant as a Raven, but let me keep going. He said, unpopular opinion, but I think Marcus Peters may have played his last NFL game. I think his outburst at the Bills game last season openly against Harbaugh may have cost him more than most folks might su suspect. Let's keep going. He said, we know Harbaugh isn't the biggest fan of alpha type players. We have seen it before with a player like Ed Reed who just didn't finish his career in Baltimore regardless of his greatness. Don't get me wrong. I hope I'm wrong. You might say, yes, that's with the Ravens. How does this affect the other 31 teams? I've noticed a weird, unproven alignment among the teams on key issues. It's almost as if the league is sending a subtle but clear message in regards to conduct regardless of talent. Exhibit A, Antonio Brown. Now, with Antonio Brown, look, man, Antonio Brown, um, obviously, he was one of the best receivers uh, in the league when he played. But a lot of the stuff that he was doing, that was on a whole nother level, man. So, like, to, to walk off the field, to walk off the field in the middle of a game, like, take the jersey off, of the, to do all that in the middle of a game, that, like that. And I, and I get it. I, I get You don't want nobody disrespecting you. Trust me, I get that. And I don't think anybody should be disrespecting anybody. But to do all that... In the middle of a game, look, was it? ooh, that was something. Like if if you're gonna retire at halftime, like Vontae Davis, okay, do that. But to do all that, in the middle, I guess he that's that was his exit, man. He was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm done. But um, I feel like Antonio Brown with all the stuff that he had going on, it, his stuff was just on another level. So I don't really think that's the best example, uh, because again, he like ooh. But anyway, uh, continuing. He said, uh, everyone saw that disrespect on national TV. This wasn't a locker room incident that we heard about later on. It happened live in front of everyone. Uh, MP charged up towards the coach and had to be stopped by multiple staffers. This wasn't MP's first outburst. I have a feeling no one is calling yet because no one will be calling at all. The only team I can see signing him just to spite us would be the Steelers. Ooh, that, that would be fun, huh? Oh, that would be fun. Uh, what do you think? Anyway, man, thank you for all that you do. You're a true inspiration and this city needs more people like you. Sincerely, T. I uh, oh, appreciate you, man. I appreciate it, man. Um, with MP, I, I don't think that and the, his outburst with Harbaugh would... Um, no, nah, I think it could... like, And, and you know what's cra crazy? Somebody in the comment section had brought... They brought it up. Um, I think my guy LaBrell, he brought it up in, in a video recently. He was like, that, that's, what, that's, that's the real reason why MP ain't coming back or something like that. And I was like, man, I had forgot all about that. But then... I had uh, went back to the video where we talked about it in a video, and I remember saying in the video that I, oh, I hope that he don't get traded. Um, but it, cause it, like you, 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 you didn't, I never even seen anything like that before with Harbaugh, like a player like yelling at him like that, really going off like that. And I think after they tried to clean it up, say, oh, he was yelling at Adafi away or something. Like, I forgot what it was, but I was like, ooh. Guess Ra Ravens don't forget. They don't. They don't be forgetting stuff, man. Ravens don't be forgetting, man. But um, we'll see. As far as his last snap as a Raven, I could definitely see that last snap in the NFL. No, no. I, this this would not be something that would get him kicked out or, or kicked out of the league. This would not be something that would get him. Um, what's the word? Uh, the collusion. The, the 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 teams they wouldn't collude against Marcus Peters. Because of this. Obviously, the teams are going to know about it. They see it. I mean, everybody saw it. But this is not going to be the end-all, be-all for Marcus Peters in the NFL because of that outburst. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it. How to made it. Boy, he's a fan. And he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. And you know just.
just what I mean You too, team, keep it clean You see my boy, he like God I made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving Team, keep it clean, if you couldn't tell, we back with another episode And I know it's been a long time but we've been crazy busy as y'all know but we back with another episode of questions from subs and what that is is a series where you can ask any nfl question you want to and we answer it in a video just like this if you want to be part of it you can send me an email to team keep it clean at gmail.com or for the patrons special shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons shout out to the newest team keep it clean patron d uh my guy robert d and, and justin c uh, appreciate y'all and shout out to harrison as well uh, for becoming new Team Keep It Clean patrons. If any of y'all would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. And if you don't want to, it's okay. Shout out to all the channel members as well. Channel members been holding it down too, so I appreciate all of y'all. I wish, see, I gotta, I gotta take this up with YouTube because this, this is their problem, not y'all's. But I wish every time somebody joined as a channel member, like I would get some type of notification, some type of email, but I just don't. YouTube doesn't do that. So just giving y'all a little background of the channel members and whatnot. YouTube does not let me know. Like I have to go in and manually check and go through all this stuff to, to check to see who the new channel members are. But I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, so thank you for that. I, I added to y'all know the credits that we run at the end of the video. I added all the new channel members at the end of the video. All the new patrons are in there. So this thing is updated. Well, unless... Somebody joins from May 4th to the time I put this video out, then it won't be updated. But anyway, y'all get it. But like I was saying, if you want to be part of Question from Subs, because you know we can go on tangents, we can go on rants. If you want to be part of Question from Subs, you can send an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the Team Keep It Clean patrons, you can send your question directly on Patreon. And speaking of the Team Keep It Clean patrons, let's get into some of their questions because we we behind and I know a, a, a lot of Team Keep It Clean patrons, they, they done came through and they had questions before the draft, after the draft. And, and it, things have just been really, really crazy. So my apologies, man. I apologize to all of y'all. Um, but let's see what y'all had to say. And I guess we can sort of do some reflecting and looking back. See if you were right, wrong, what you thought about this, that, and the third. But anyway, this question came from my guy, William G., uh, he said, what's up, Engraven? Hope you have a blessed and productive week. Odell Beckham Jr. added to the offense makes this a nightmare for defensive coordinators, as now you can't double anyone without risking a huge mismatch somewhere. This could be a 2023 great season, 2024 Super Bowl, as long as we are healthy. I think we will see Lamar signed after the draft uh, for many, many years in a 90 to 100 percent guarantee, most likely to age 30 to 32 range. Uh, stay blessed. Well, you um. You were close as far as when he got signed, because he got signed right before the draft, not right after, so even better. Um, and 90 to 100% guaranteed, no, nah, well, he didn't get that much, um, but what, what did he get? Was it 71% guaranteed? Something like that. I forgot what it was, but it was a large chunk of guarantee, so Lamar got his bread. Another question came from my guy, Juan G., who's been a patron for seven months. He said, do you think the Hopkins deal could go down during the draft? For Queen in a third round pick, maybe, since they already don't have... Uh, a lot might as well give up more for Hopkins. That's what I was thinking. But again, the Zay Flowers that ended all of that. Once they drafted Zay Flowers, that's when the Hopkins thing was officially dead. This question had came from my guy Serge. He'd been a patron for eight months. He sent this on April twenty fourth. He said, "Engraven, hope you and the family are doing well. Imagine growing up playing street ball with your siblings and your cousins at the family functions, pretending like your NFL player scoring touchdown. Fast forward to adulthood, and suddenly a couple of you are star NFL players, but." You're on completely different teams. Wouldn't you want your team's front office to do everything possible to reunite you and your family to relive, to relive those backyard football moments? That's exactly what could happen for the Arizona Cardinals. Baltimore Ravens can facilitate this by trading Devin Duvernay and reuniting him with his cousin, Kyler Murray, as well as his old teammate in Hollywood Brown. EDC could create a trade package deal, and in return, we receive DeAndre Hopkins. With the draft creeping up, it looks very likely we could be drafting a receiver. Mm. You got it. He got it. Uh, only minimizing the amount of touches a guy like Devin Duvernay could get. Ah, and that's true, too. I def Zay Flowers definitely will take away from Devin Duvernay's touches. I right, said, so let's not forget that when the Ravens have a need, they tend to double up. And yeah, they, um, they didn't double up in the draft of receiver this year. Because uh, usually whatever they get in the first round, they get in the first round and they get in either the third or fourth round. They get it later on, too. But they didn't do that this year. I mean, they only had five picks and then they end up getting six. But yeah, they didn't do the doubling up thing. But um. Uh, they probably couldn't. 
Uh, but anyway, he said, I'll end this by saying I love Devin Dunay and would love nothing more to, than to see him flourish, whether he's in a Ravens jersey or not. Much love from the A. And like the lights at the Superdome, I'm out. Appreciate that. And he said, by the way, they also had the same agent, Eric Burkhardt. Okay, so we got a little background story, too. And on the night of the draft, this one came from my guy, Calm City, who'd been a patron for five months. He said, no matter what happens, uh, we Ravens, we deserve an awesome night tonight. I think we're about to get it. Let's go. D-Hop, Lamar Jackson, long-term deal. We did it. So, obviously, there was a hope for DeAndre Hopkins that didn't happen, but the Lamar Jackson did, so... It's nice. Now, we got to go a little way back because my guy Oscar, who had been a patron for, uh, he had been a patron for two years, um, he sent this on April 18th. And he said, hey, it's been a while. I know you just did the question from Subs live stream, but I still wanted to pick your brain a little bit. What is your dream pick or dream scenario on draft night first round? And watch what he said. Listen to this. He said, I'd love to have Zay Flowers on the team. I saw him play a few times at BC and the guy is electric. He is my favorite player in the draft and did what he did with below average QB play. Thanks for creating this amazing community. Much love as always, team. Keep it clean. He got it. He got it. So I know when, when this draft pick was announced, I'm sure he went crazy. He got exactly what he wanted. Then he sent uh, the message on draft. Now, that was on April 18th. So that was like 10 days before the draft. He said, I know it's not what you wanted, but just going to leave this here. Flowers is a great pick. No, my thing was, I, I did want DeAndre Hopkins, but it's not like I did not want DeAndre Flowers or really any receiver that they would have picked. Because my thing was... All right, Odell Beckham Jr., great, love it, cool. Bateman coming back, great, love it, cool. Nelson Aguilar, they got him too, nice. But I said the Ravens, they can't be done there. They can't be done. So while I did want DeAndre Hopkins, I would have loved that. <laughs> Y'all know. I, I still like the, the Zay Flowers pick a lot because the Ravens didn't stop. They weren't just like, all right, no DeAndre Hopkins, we're done. No, they kept going. And they added again. So I, I appreciated that from them. I, I loved that from them. And I'm glad that they did it. So they made it happen. So shout out to them. Next question came from, or well, I guess this more so a comment, came from my guy Robert D, who's a new patron. Uh, and he said, hey, man, my friend Engraven, God bless. Hope you are well. As your family, love your programs, comments, and all of the positive vibes you provide us all with. Very special shout out to you from Puerto Rico. Hey, shout out to Puerto Rico. Shout out to PR. Uh, he said, LJ8, Zay Flowers in the flock, let's go. Hey, let's get it, baby. Next question came from my guy, uh, Martin, uh, and he had been a patron for about two years. He said, thank you, EDC. As someone who has been highly critical of Eric DeCosta over these past few years, especially with the draft, I'm happy if it went, I'm happy, uh, and I wanted to give EDC the credit he deserves. He got the Lamar deal done finally. Everyone involved with the Ravens, players, fans, coaches, front office, media. Finally, we can go into this offseason with a clear vision instead of waiting to see if Lamar is going to play under the franchise tag or not. I'm glad we didn't get to that point. I'm happy with the wide receiver room we have now, and I'm hoping the Ravens will feature Bateman as the number one. As I feel like he has a talent, I could be wrong. I just uh, That's just how I feel personally. I think he does. I think he certainly does. Uh, but anyway, he said, but definitely excited about Zay Flowers and OBJ. At first, I was kind of down about the pick because I like bigger receivers. I like A.J. Brown, Justin Jefferson. Then I remembered, oh, yeah, Bateman is that type of receiver, big body. And I saw Zay Flowers on the opposite side of him and was like, you know what? I like this. I'm so happy to be a patron again and able to support the channel. Keep up the amazing work, my friend. And just like uh, Lamar with the Ravens, I'm back. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot, man. Uh, what what he said because he had uh he had took a break from being a patron for a little bit, but he said he's back, man. So it's all good, man. I, I appreciate you, Martin. Thank you, man. Next question came from my guy Dominic, who's been a patron for about six months. He said, "What's up, man? I hope everything is good. I just seen we drafted Zay Flowers, and with him, I expect this offense to be opened up. I know this roster is far from complete, but with Lamar also staying, what do you expect from this offense this upcoming season? How do you expect everyone to fit in, and do you expect Ricard to go back to D line? LOL." Nah, I don't think he's going back to D-line, but um, I, I just think he'll be used a lot less uh, in the passing game. I don't think we're going to see Ricard uh, as wide receiver one anymore like we had been used to. Um, but I just expect the, the, the passing offense to expand more. I expect it to use the majority of the field a lot more uh, instead of just being isolated in, in certain areas of the field and everybody's all together. No, I expect them to really stress defenses out. Because when you have different weapons, multiple weapons at pass catcher, then that makes stuff easier. It gives you more options. And then at the same time, you still got Lamar that could take off at any given second. 
And the last question on this special returning episode of Question from Subs, because you know we ain't done this in a super long time, came from my guy Kevin B. He said, let's go Ravens. Ain't Raven has everything going. I hope all is well. Good job on the Ravens closing this deal with Lamar Jackson. Uh, the biggest thing I'm excited to see is him getting back to playing at a high level. Did you hear how he sounds? He's happy again, and he hasn't been happy since Mark Ingram left. He was having the time of his life then. Past two seasons, he wasn't happy. That's why his game fell off. A lot of times he could have ran, but he was like, nope, I'm a QB, not a running back. And I'm not paid yet. Let's go Ravens and good pick with Zay Flowers. Peace and blessings, my friend. And yeah, I think, um, I do think that was a part of it, the the, the pay part. Um, Because it's like, hey, oh, oh, it's a lane right there? Oh, they ain't cut the check yet. You know what? I'm, I'm chilling. I just throw it away. I just wait a little extra, extra time. I, I could get a bunch of yards. Uh, they ain't cut that check yet. Uh, but I mean, who, who knows? Who knows what was going on, going on in his head? Maybe he just was really, really waiting sometimes for somebody to come open. Um, who knows? But I'm, I'm glad, like, again, that's done. It's done. So we ain't got to worry about what was going on in Lamar Jackson's head. So now, if, hey, if you see Elena to take off, take off. If you see Elena to throw it, throw it. Cause you know with, with with Lamar, he just he he want to win by any means necessary. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get there, whatever it takes to get that win, that's what he's gonna do. So we all looking forward to it. Exit out the door. Exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore. 